This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is all about my top, I guess my top five easy growing philodendron. However, I couldn't help but notice they all had something in common, a couple of things in common actually. So without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into it. We're wasting no time. Here we go. Top five easy growers for me right now, even in adverse conditions, right? So even when things just get shit, you underwater, you overwater, it gets a bit cold, it gets a bit hot. Pests are about all of it. So let's just get straight into it. By the way, this is not in any kind of order whatsoever. So anything within here, not one plant is better than another. These are all about the same. So first plant I want to talk about is this plant. I've mentioned this here and there on the channel, not a lot, but every so often it keeps sort of finding its way out. And this is, what is it? It is Philodendron SP Platinum or SP Platinum. I don't like saying SP. Anyone else? I like saying SP. SP just sounds like I haven't finished this sentence. So I don't like saying it. Apologies. I like saying SP. Or at least then you know what I'm actually saying. So this, I don't know if you can tell if it's different, but I promise you it is. This is not green. It is green. It is green, but it's not green. It actually has quite a bluish silvery tone to it. I don't know if you can actually tell at all. Hopefully you can. I'd be a bit gutted if you couldn't see the difference between that potentially and normal plant, but hey ho. Now then, it does grow very easily. It's not the fastest, because that's not what this video is. It's not the fastest, but it is one of the easiest. Now, <laughs> This looks very odd, right? Are you probably thinking, what on earth is this? Is this crawling? Is it climbing? What is it? I'm pretty darn sure that it is crawling. Now, I'm willing to be wrong. I reserve the right to change my mind because I keep chopping these. So when they grow, I keep chopping them and I don't get to tell quick enough. But I'm 99% sure it's a crawler. Now, I know it doesn't look like it. Do you see this? I know it doesn't look like it. This is basically because it sat in this pot behind me. Uh, this one here, I do think. Yes, this pot here. And it's sort of grown up onto the side of the plastic container. So for whatever reason, it's found its way. So I think that's why it looks like that, not because it grows like that. So I realize it looks a bit but it is the way it grows, I absolutely assure you. I absolutely love this plant. It's a little bit different. It's nothing groundbreaking. I'm not stood here saying, oh my God, this is like the most amazing, unique thing. It's not. It's just a really nice, plain green, heart-shaped philodendron. It's got rosy petioles on it, which is quite nice. The backs of them look pretty normal, to be fair. That's the back. And you can see all the petioles and everything. It's just a really nice philodendron. Really, really nice philodendron. Again, not the quickest, not the quickest, but definitely one of the nicer ones. Let me know what you think of this. I know I put it on the channel every now and again, every now and again, um, and it's met with good reception. Now, I bought this as that name, by the way, I should mention this. I bought this from my supplier with that name. It could have a completely different name. I don't know. I don't really see it about, but I think that's because nobody cares, not because, you know, it's hard to get. And if it is hard to get, it's because no one cares. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, this is not, before I move on, this is not, what is it? It's not philodendron. Is it silver angel? It's not one of those. If I just move momentarily here and show you this, it's not the same plant. Uh, I would actually love one of these. Uh, it's on a bit of a wish list, which my wish list is still being formed, by the way. Just stay tuned. It's not a very big one, but it's it's coming. Um, that's actually on my wish list. It's not the same thing. This is more like a, I don't want to say a low budget version, but definitely a more subtle version of that. But nonetheless, still a really nice plant just to give you the beautiful dimension. I mean, that is quite hot. Look at that. It's really, really nice. Just a frosted, silvery toned green but if it's not coming off camera, then I can't really help you. Right. Uh, no particular order. What should I do? I've got a couple more, dare I say, kind of silvery ones for you. So I'm going to space them out so you, you have a bit of a palette cleanse in between them. So I'm going to hold up this one, which should be of no surprise to you at all. This one could look better, actually. It's It's been sort of put on the top of a shelf. And I may have forgotten about it, I won't lie. But if you don't know what this is, then you've been living under a damn rock. This right here is the wonderful Philodendron Gloriosum. It is probably one of the top three plants I 
even grow here in this shop in terms of how well it grows. Um, they used to be worth a lot. Never, never a ton, but they were worth a little. Then they were worth more in COVID, as with everything. Then they came right down. Now you can get them, gosh, I think you can get them in a lot of plant shops. Maybe not garden centers, although sometimes, but you can definitely get them in plant shops. I don't think you'd struggle to get one of these. But I'm not going to stop advocating for this plant just because it's not worth much. I know the plant, I know the channel is about rare stuff, but you got to shout out to the classics, right? you got to shout out to the classics. And who knows, guys, one day that might be rare again, right? If we have so many of them and manufacturers just get bored of making them because people stop buying them because everyone's got one, they'll stop making them. And then it'll take a few years and it'll come around as being rarer again. So... This is just the cycle of life, the commercial cycle of life is how it works. That said, great plant. Not too long on the petioles if you feed it well. Sorry, I, I literally look how silly this looks. I realize this does look a bit silly, guys. You can tell it's just stationed itself to get as much light as possible. It's growing down the pot. It absolutely shouldn't do that. It is also a crawler, by the way. It shouldn't be looking like this. It's because I've left it and it's trying to escape, which is just wonderful. Short-ish petioles, depending on how well you feed it. There are other forms that I believe have longer petioles. Certainly the regular form of Gloriosum has longer petioles. This I would probably call, would I call it round? Mm, I would. Don't know about you guys. I would call this round form Gloriosum because that does look very, very round. They tend to keep a bit more stout, actually, from what I've noticed. So if you don't like gangly things, then maybe this type of Gloriosum is for you. Again, so many different types. One day, guys, one day in the future, I will actually do the bloody video on it <laughs> eventually. But yeah, different types. Love the plant. Lovely veining. Velvety. What more can you want? Uh, spider mites like it, but I wouldn't say it's particularly diff uh, difficult on pests at all. It's no more difficult than something else. If anything, it's one of the better ones, personally. Feel free to disagree in the comments. But yeah, I'll never show up about this, ever. So I know that people are probably borderline unsubscribing because of my love for this plant, but it's not going to change anything. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And hopefully it looks good. I mean, it's just growing in a really weird way. A really weird, like, it's just faced weird, hasn't it? You know why it's facing weird, by the way, if you're thinking, why is it facing in two different directions? This corner here, uh, that corner in there where it meets a right angle, it's been sat in the corner sort of facing outwards so it's had sort of light coming at it from two different directions and that's why it looks like this so there we go full down glorosum a beautiful plant i'm gonna pop her down she's very pretty but she needs a she needs a bit of a chop to be honest she's she's not done well like i can't really do anything about this now she is she's growing like that she needs cut and re repotted i guess Right, let's put her down, because she's very cute. Maybe we can put her back here. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? She might look stupid. She might be turning down a little bit because she's on a higher shelf. Oh, that just reminds me. I've put a plant up here that shouldn't be up here. One second, guys. You know what? I'll pull him down. You don't know what it is. Pretend you haven't seen it. <laughs> I'll hold that up momentarily. Right, let's do another silver one. So this one I'm going to put in an outer pot that's actually a bit wobbly because it's crawled, but it's not crawled well. Oh, wait, no, it's not this one that's wobbly. It's a different one. Too late, it's in the outer pot. We interrupt this video to talk about the main sponsor of our channel for a quick second, and that is Squarespace. If you didn't already know, Squarespace is a website that builds websites, and I've used it to build both websites for both of the brands that I own. I have Squarespace website for my Nurture System brand, and I have a Squarespace website for the Red Plant Shop, and I absolutely adore using it. It's so easy to do. I can customize a template from an absolute array of templates they have on their website, and I can make it completely my own. So anything I take, I can still make it look completely individual me. I don't need any coding knowledge or anything like that to navigate the changes on the website or to make changes across loads of different pages at once. It's all super intuitive and super simple to do. And the result always looks really, really good. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up an online business, go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it from me, guys. Back to the video. Right. I hope I get this correct because I have two similar and I will do these back to back because I think it's going to make more sense. And at some point I'll pick this one back up and show you it against another one because you'll see. So this is another crawler right here. It's, it's a very nice one, this one. It sizes up real nice, real tough. I don't have as many of these in the shop. I actually have more of a second type I'm going to show you. In fact, uh, let's have a quick look. Is this another one? Yeah, there's one here that's that way and then the others are different. I've got a couple. 
If I propagated them, don't get me wrong, I'd have a lot more. But this was purchased, I think, as... I believe it's Philodendron Pastazanum White, right? Now, I don't know if it's a hybrid or it's just a variation of Pastazanum. Obviously, the name would indicate it's a variation of Pastazanum, right? But... <laughs> In the plant world nowadays, you haven't got a clue, have you, right? Like, literally anything could be anything. So I'm just putting that out there. But one of my best plants, it just, this has been sort of clumped together on that second tray at the back uh, here, and it's all been clumped together. So some of the things I'm going to show you might look a bit all over, but it's because they've grown, you know, through each other. But even though it's been clumped and, you know, there's loads of plants above it, it's just love and life. It could have sized up more. And I have, I actually have a picture of it. I'll pop it in now because it's nice. Um, it should be the same plant anyway. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I have a much larger one that's in front of the wall that I only wish I could pick up for you guys because it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I've shown it in previous videos where I've fed it with my feed and that's gorgeous. That's sized up really nicely. Obviously, this is not quite the case, um, but it is still really pretty. And if I show you up close, you can see how beautiful and silvery it is. There's a lot of silver on there. It's not just a little bit. It's quite a bit. So I have him, right? Now, I'm going to pop him down temporarily because I also have another one to show you that is similar but not. In fact, I need to pull this pot out one second. This next plant, I honestly, I wish I knew which way around these were because they're both telling me that they're pastas on them white, right? But one has to be silver, it has to be silver. Now, I think the one I'm holding up is silver. And again, I will hold up the other one in a moment. Very, very pastorish, as you can tell. If you've seen pastas on them before, they get a bit leggy. They get a bit leggy. But this is pastas on them. I'm calling it, for the sake of this video, I'm calling it pastas on them silver. So that's what he looks like. Now, you might be thinking, mm, there's no difference there. I promise there is. I absolutely promise there is. There is much less uh, silver on the plant. So if I show you this way, can you see it? If I put it in line with my face so you can get a bit of a sense. It's not, it's just not flooded with silver. There is less. Show you some of the leaves. I realize that's upside down. I'm sure you'll live upside down there. Um, obviously some of the younger ones here, just so you can see the progression. It's a little bit like a plow mani-ish coloring, or at least the plow mania that has silver in it, but it's, it's obviously a pastas on. So there is that, and I will just show you again. I want to show you, if I can, without smacking my microphone, I want to show you the difference between this one and the other one. Now, are we going to do my best to do this? Because it's not the easiest, because I've only got two hands. Hopefully you can actually see the difference. If I put these two leaves up against each other, can you see? I really hope you get a sense of how different they are. So this one I'm wiggling now, I believe to be pastas on them silver, and this one now I'm wiggling, which is just obviously way more covered. That's pastas on them white, I do think there. You see the difference there? One is like super, super covered. One has a lot less and that does account for the older leaves as well. It's not like a maturity thing. It's so hard to show you these plants, honestly. So, so hard there. You can see a lot more green coming from within the, like the secondary veins. Whereas here, you kind of can't. There is a big difference. To be honest, the more I move back, it's actually quite obvious. Let me just, oh, it's kind of a thumbnail list. This is a vibe. Yeah, definitely, definitely different. So, Pastas on them silver, pastas on them white. I do have a slightly bigger pastas on them silver, just in case there are some naysayers among you that tell me that it's a maturity thing, because I promise it's not, I promise it's not. I did buy them as different plants and they are definitely different plants. Growth wise, they're kind of the same. I actually think the pastas on them white is a bit more stout and the pastas on them silver is a bit more leggy. Again, honestly, guys, it depends on your light and it definitely depends on your food. If you've got a philodendron that's a bit leggier and you're giving it good light, try and, try and feed it. It should improve it quite a bit. Uh, if I hadn't already mentioned, they're obviously crawlers, but I want to show you this one because this one is quite a big leaf and it's very, very new and you get to see it in all its beautiful glory. Do you see it here? Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's so pretty. That's the size of my head and that's the size of the leaf. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just ahead of spring. I did feed these maybe before Christmas, but three weeks ago, and it's just starting to take hold. And I'm very, very happy with that because oh, even all the old leaves are nice and dark, but this new one's just come in gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's two older leaves as well. See that there? So that is the silver. There's not quite as much on it. I'll pop them down now and move on. But I just need you to know how beautiful he is. Very, very nice. You can't go wrong with either. If it was me personally, I'd go for the white, so the one with more, because why not? You know what I mean? Why not? But they're both very, very pretty plants. I put him here like that. He's just very cute. I really like him. Very, very pretty. Right then, one more plant to show you of my top five 
philodendron that are easy to grow. Hopefully you have seen some of the similarities by now. It's funny actually because the plants here are either the mother plants or like they've, they've hybridized to create some of the other plants here if that makes sense. So there are definitely some similarities. So next and final plant I'm going to hold up is, 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 let me grab them both because why not, is this. Now I know how gangly they are right? But what I will tell you is these plants are just really gangly. Funny enough, more so than the others that I've held up. And I don't know why that is because this here, I don't know whether I can get a good leaf to show you. This one's new. If you know why it's funny color, it's literally still unfurling. This here though is Philodendron Dean McDowell, right? I'm going to have to just pick up one to show you. Maybe this one. Let's do the bigger one for now because the smaller one is, is looks darker and greener, but there's more of it and it's more gangly. So um, let's do this one. Why not? So Philodendron Dean McDowell just so happens to be a hybrid of Philodendron Gloriosum and Philodendron Pastazanum. You feel me? What I'm alluding to is, guys, these two plants, generally speaking, are super tough. And if you want a good crawler, you can't go massively wrong by getting one or either or, you know, like some, some parents have created a hybrid. So this is Dean McDowell. This has had a bit of a journey throughout life. They were expensive, then they were dirt cheap. Then they were super expensive, and now I think they're dirt cheap again. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't particularly think these are expensive anymore. They're still nice plants. The only thing I sort of don't love about these plants, and I do say it every time, how gangly they are. Like, compared to the other ones I've held up today, you should be able to notice they're significantly more gangly, and not a lot is different from them. I can even see the difference in the two trays. So if I show you that there is where the pastas arnum live, this one here is where all of the Dean McDowell live, and you can genuinely see they're they're just so much leggier and it's quite interesting because gloriosum i wouldn't say was super leggy plant it can be maybe this was mixed with the regular form that i know to be leggier anyway who knows i don't think it was mixed with the round form to be fair and obviously pastas on them it can grow a bit gangly a bit leggy so if you don't like that it's not a good one for you but in terms of survivability guys i'm not sure there is a better plant than this one it might top them it might actually top them. It might even top Gloriosum because it's not velvety. So a lot of pests that would adore a velvety plant, they're not as fussed with this one. So if you can get past the gangle, they're a great plant. I'll pick this smaller one back up just so you can see in a little bit of detail because there's actually some some older darker funkier leaves i've snapped a leaf that's fun i've snapped it at some point now it's dying off how wonderful uh what have we got it's just so gangly you can see here some of the smaller leaves they are very very nice plants don't get me wrong it's just visually aesthetically not the best out of all of them i'd rather have a pastas on them but i can't neglect these because i mean i do neglect them you know what i mean i can't neglect them uh in terms of repping them should we say because they are a good plant and I, I definitely had a fantastic relationship with them over the years i know you guys have a bit of a relationship with them as well but i just think they are worth it they are worth it could you get better yes maybe but that's not really the point of this video if you remember the point of this video is to tell you about some really good easy growing philodendron and i said they were the prettiest i said they grew the easiest and if you also couldn't already tell the main theme of this video is that they are crawlers as well i don't know now it could just be that i find these easy and you find them impossible i i hear a lot about gloriosum a lot when i hold that up on camera a lot of people are like oh my god i can't get mine to grow so, you know, everyone is different, but on the whole, I think these are definitely the easiest. And as I say, I'll pick up my absolute fave, which I think it just has to be this one. It is closely followed by the other philodendron here. And I'll be honest, for this one, I have no idea what that is. So I'm saying they're all kind of pastas on and glorious or whatever. I actually don't know what this one is at all. Not really sure, but him. Oh, I mean, I'd have him for myself. Look how nice he is. Ooh, he's really, really pretty. Let me put these down. I'm now swimming in plants. And you might not be able to hear that. My noise cancelling might be working really well, but it is absolutely pelting it down. And I mean pelting it down onto the unit right now. We've had a lot of storms in the UK. We've had snow. We've had it all. As the time of filming, we're still going through it. We're still going through it. So apologies if you have heard noise throughout. I will have done my best to cancel that out for you. So yay for my noise cancelling. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you could do so. My merch, as worn here, <laughs> 
My Long Boys merch is available in the link below. Similarly, do I have some? Yes. My fertilizer is for sale on Amazon and also my website. If you want to know what I've been feeding these big bad boys, then that is what I've been feeding them. I was feeding them, oh gosh, a year ago, right? I fed them on camera. Ooh, I just dropped my feed. It's fine. I fed them about a year ago on camera um, and they've been doing fantastically. Been feeding them this. It's awesome. I can hear that fizzing. Well, it does say to shake it before I use it, so. I've, uh, I've only helped myself. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I will love you and leave you. Have a fantastic weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.